A ship A is moving westwards with a speed of 10 km per hour and a ship B 100 km south of A is moving northwards with a speed of 10 km per hour. The time after which the distance between them becomes shortest is options are given 0 hour, 5 hour, 5 root 2 hour, 10 root 2 hour and is a question from APMD 2015. First of all, you have to draw the directions, right? So the directions can be marked. North, south, east, west can be marked. Okay. So here, given that ship A is moving westwards. So this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. Okay. Ship A. Ship A is at some point, some point here and which is moving towards west with a velocity of 10 km per hour. Yes, 10 km per hour. Okay, 10 km per hour. Now, 100 km in the south direction. That means, you know, 100 km from this point, maybe the ship B. This is ship A. Ship B is somewhere here, which is moving in which direction? Ship B is moving towards the north, right? You know, northward with a speed of, ship B is moving like this, northward with a speed of, again, 10 km per hour, 10 kmph, okay, km per hour. If that is the case, the time after which the distance between them becomes shortest is, see, the shortest, you know, sh the distance is shortest, you know, we have to find out the time at which the distance becomes shortest. Now, assume that the time is t. Initially, ship A is here, ship B is here. You know, in time t, how much distance it will cover? You know that, you can easily find out. Velocity or speed is equal to, speed is equal to, speed is equal to distance divided by time. So, you know, this speed multiplied by time will give you distance covered. So, we can say, ship A, distance A is going to be equal to, ship A is going to cover, 10 multiplied by t hours, you know, total 10, 10 km per hour multiplied by t. So, 10, 10 d distance will be covered in which direction? Towards the west direction. Similarly, ship B is going to cover 10 multiplied by t in the northward direction. Am I right? See, initially the distance between the A and B was 100 km. So, I will draw that situation again in a very clear way. Initially, the distance was initially the distance between B and A was 100 kilometer. 100 kilometer. See that time ship was here and A was here, B was here. Now ship is moving. A is moving towards west. How much distance we are covering? Towards west. How much distance? 10 t distance we are covering. 10 t kilometer. Okay. Now. Ship A, ship B is covering, the same time ship B is covering 10 t kilometer. So, here 10 t kilometer is covered. So, you know the remaining distance. How much is the remaining distance? The remaining distance here, we can show that this distance, this distance is going to be equal to how much? 100 minus 10 t. 100 minus 10 t is the distance. Now, this is 10 t. What is the shortest path? The shortest path is nothing but the distance between this point to this point okay now this distance we have to find out see this d you have to obtain so the d you can obtain because you know we have 10 t and 100 minus 10 t we can find out apply pythagoras theorem and we can find out an expression for d when d is minimum what is the value of time we can use the principles of derivatives or you know the, 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 the application of differential equations we can use or you know the, the principle of derivative can be used to minimize that and find out the value of t. Look here 10 t is the base and this height is you know 100 minus 10 t. I hope all of you understood initial distance from a to b is 100. 10 t is traveled by the board b in a time t and remaining distance is only this much. So the final position of the board one is here and second one is here. The B A is here, B is here. The shorter distance is this much. Okay. Now let us try to find out the D value. So we can say Pythagoras theorem. D square is equal to 10 T the whole square plus 
100 minus 10 t the whole square. Okay. Let us expand this. d square is equal to 100 t square plus 100 minus 10 t the whole square. See, look here. We got an expression for d square. You know, if the distance is minimum, if the distance is minimum, we can take the first derivative. d by dt of d square is going to be equal to 0. Basically, d by dt of d will be equal to 0. d square also going to be equal to 0 because, you know, both are same concept. See how we are kind of, I mean, explaining this. Suppose if you have a function, all of you listen very carefully. If you have a function, something like this, y is equal to f of x, okay. Some complicated function you have. So, something like this. Okay, so any point, you know, any point which is horizontal, see this is a local region where it is horizontal, this is horizontal and this point is horizontal. So, these are regions of local maximas and local minimas, right. You know, at that point slope is going to be 0, this is y axis, okay, y, this is x axis, the function is y is equal to f of x, okay. Now, if you have taken the derivative, when you are taking derivative, that means d by dy by dx when you are taking, that is nothing but slope, right? Slope. See, slope at maximas and minimas are going to be 0 because it is making horizontal direction. The angle is theta. Tan theta is, tan 0 is 0. Slope is going to be 0. So, these regions, you know, these regions, see these regions, these regions, these regions, everywhere, slope is equal to 0. So, that means, the function is either at maximum condition or minimum condition. So, the first derivative 0 means it could be either maximum or minimum. Now, how to choose that whether it is maximum or minimum? So, for that we have to come to the problem. Look here, let us go back to the ship diagram. See here, if the ship are moving this way and this way, you know that there is only one minimum. Assuming that the surface of earth is flat, okay. So, we don't know what will happen later. See, don't worry about that. Assuming that it is a flat lake, okay. So, you know that as long as this is moving, at one point this is minimum and after that is going to keep on increase the distance between the ship. So, there is only minimum in this particular case. You know, minima is there. That means, when you are taking the first derivative of distance, if it is going to be zero, that means that is a condition for minimum distance. That is the logic here, okay. So, Without knowing if you are applying, you may not be able to apply the same concept in some other problem. In some other problem, we will be using the concept for maxima. So, here physically minima only makes sense. That is why we are doing like that. So, here let us go to the final thing. So, here the first derivative of this is going to be 0. d by dt of d should be 0. Similarly, d by dt of d square also going to be 0. So, we can say the, the left hand side is going to be 0 and we can take the derivative of right hand side with respect to time and it can equal to 0 and we can come to the answer. All of you look here. See here, you can see d by dt, this is going to be 0. Okay, it's a maximum value which is equal to, how much is the derivative of this? 200 multiplied by t. Okay, here, derivative of this, you know, we can say that plus 2 times 100 minus 10t, right? Then chain rule you have to apply. See, 100 minus 10t, what is the derivative of 100 minus 10t? 0 minus 10 will be there. So, minus 10 you have to multiply here. So, how much will be the answer? Let us expand this. 0 is going to be equal to... 200t, this is going to be equal to minus will come, right? See, this is going to be minus of 20. So, minus 20 multiplied by 100, minus 2000 will come, minus 2000. Again, you know, this is going to be equal to plus 200t will come. So, let us go to the next page. 0 is equal to 400t minus 2000. That means, 400t is going to be equal to 2000 and t is going to be equal to 2000 divided by 400. So, you can cancel out this remaining how much will be there. So, this can be cancelled out these two zeros to 20 by 4. Finally, t is going to be equal to 5 hours. It's a beautiful question. So, 5 hours in 5 hours ship is going to cross the minimum distance, you know, the minimum distance between them become, uh, will be, will be uh, there at when time is equal to 5 hours. So, the correct option here is, which option? Second option, 5 hour is the correct answer.